I understand why now now why Christina Ricci is such a freaking icon. Oh my god. I put on my velvet coat, the second part. Uh, I'm just gonna put on another fluffy, uh, uh, cozy, like even more cozy flannel. Oh my God, I f love flannel. I just, I, I rock the lumberjack vibe, you know? Yeah, you do. I am a little jealous of your flannels. I'll be honest. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head into <laughs> part two of the Adams Family Values. That's a good. You know. I, I haven't seen it, and since Fester is now married, I assume that's just going to be, like, another 45 minutes of happily ever after, right? Like, what else could possibly totally. happen? Yeah. Yep. It's definitely what's happening. Okay. All right. Ready? I'm very Three, ready. Two, <laughs> one. <laughs> Romantic music. I <laughs> okay, she is not subtle. How has she yeah, never been caught? Would you do anything for me? Anything. Would you die for me? <laughs> yes! Promise. <laughs> Have you really never had sex? Never. Well then, how do you know we're not having it right now? <laughs> we'll be just like <laughs> Tisha. No, be your own people. I'm ready. Just one thing. Thomas told me no giggling, and no hand puppets. <laughs> <laughs> no hand puppets. Depends on who your partner is, really. <laughs> yeah, so you ever heard the expression more flags than a Russian army? After we've made love, you can never see your family again. What? Messed up. You messed up? No, or that's, that's messed, messed up. up. <laughs> yes, that is. Yes, if I picture them in our lives, I could never achieve, you know. That is a very specific kink. Never talk to your family again, baby. Oh, never talk to your family again. <laughs> Start. Whoa. Was the implication here that they just had sex or that he just Intimate for the Intimacy. first time? Intimacy. Yes, intimate for the first time. Uh if our viewers have any um better um Euphemisms, I'd love to hear them. Again, I love puns, so bring them on. Keep it PG-13, though, because we don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Fair. Oh, oh, no, no. I know that, like, eggs in drinks are actually a thing, but but no, no. I just can't. Yeah. Excuse me, I know, like, egg whites in a drink, but, like, raw eggs, no. Those are right from your chicken's, like... Coop. Brand new. Hail to the no. pup. Oh no. Alcohol. Don't give alcohol to babies, guys. Just don't. Not a good idea. Amanda. <laughs> Thank you. Next. This almost feels like it could be its own separate movie. Just Wednesday and Pugsley terrorizing a camp for, for an hour and a half. Yeah. Good try. <laughs> When you are grown up and very lonely, you will understand. Oh no. Oh no. He's a dead man. Oh no! <laughs> it's an American bald eagle. I love how obviously fake it is. <laughs> One Fourth of July, I actually saw a bald eagle on the American River, and we were like, you know wow. what? That's it. We're calling it. We have America as hard as we can. America, <laughs> we're done. 
<laughs> we may be together for a while. All our lives, Caramia. I don't love that he's trying to copy Gomez, but that's also all he knows. Like That's all he knows, yeah. He's trying to do what he thinks is the right thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> She's already spending all his money. Ah! Neurodivergent people, especially like autistic people, are told to like mimic certain behaviors. Yeah. So that actually makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. He's definitely played as uh, um, like coded autistic. At the very least, close to it. <laughs> yeah. Whether intentionally or not. I'm her husband. Faster. Give me a kiss. Give me a 20. Oy, that's gross. Oh, yeah, she's the worst. Intentionally so. Yes. <laughs> I mean, she tried to murder him, so... And I can never see you again. P.S. Debbie says hi. <laughs> Have I done something? Said something? Why does my brother despise me? Oh, no. At his command, I would crawl on my belly through hot coals and- I love, love Angelica Houston sitting forward. This is all just some sort of phase. I love the lighting. The lighting on her in this scene is so cool. You remember our honeymoon? That glorious cruise. They sank the ship, didn't they? No survivors. <laughs> <laughs> I called it. You know what this reminds me a little bit of? What we do in the shadows. Like, these characters are so likable and wonderful, despite the fact that they're very clearly mass murderers. Yeah. But you don't care, because they're just so wonderful. Yep. My own personal salute to the first Thanksgiving. Now. Oh, no. That is going to be so bad. For the leading role of Sarah Miller, our beautiful and kindly pilgrim lady. Amanda Becker! <laughs> Let's not forget yes. our cheery little Chippewas, Mordecai. <laughs> I'm still not sure just how to pronounce this. Jamal? 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 Jamal. Whatever. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes, and I love it that they're not subtle about it, but like for the 90s, like that was very impressive to be like... Yeah, no, these are the bad guys. That's really well done. I've always very much appreciated that. Might we see my brother? No, he doesn't want to see you, any of you. That outfit. And he hates your guts. <laughs> Let me hear this from his own lips. His lips are busy. I I'm, I'm just a sucker for domineering women. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. You have enslaved him. I love the light! The light! It always follows it. I love it. I respect that. <laughs> I respect that! Luxor, Nixor, burst and burn! What is she doing? Just a kiss. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> if they ever remake this, not that they should, this does not need one, but Kim Cattrall is the grandmother. Not Kim Cattrall. Um, Kristen Schaal. Kristen Schaal is the grandmother. Which Kristen Schaal? Uh, the guide from What We Do in the Shadows, Mabel from Gravity Falls, Louise from um, okay. uh, Bob's Burgers. I, I, yeah. Okay, now I know who you're talking about. The way yeah. she did that, I'm like, that, that, that might as well have been Kristen Schaal. And if they have, again, not a fan of remakes for the sake. Remakes have their place, but not a fan. This movie does not need a remake. But if they ever, like, do another... Not a remake, but if they ever do another live-action Adams Family, Kristen Schaal as the grandmother. Yeah, I can see it. Someone has married my brother. <laughs> no. She... <laughs> Nathan Lane. That's Nathan Lane? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God, yes! The temptress of Waikiki. Who are you? What are you? Who moved the rock? <laughs> I believe they own Gomez. No, a Buick. My name is Gomez Adams, and I have seen evil. <laughs> the 
the unholy maggots which feast in the dark recesses of the human soul. There it can. <laughs> Now, I mean, realistic reaction from cops. Yeah, we don't we don't care, and you annoyed me, so I'm going to arrest you because I can hold you for 48 hours without any reason. Speaking of which, my friend Keith is a stand-up comedian and has a special out on Amazon called "What I Was Arrested For," and where she talks about the different things that he was arrested for or not arrested for, depending on the circumstance. And I I just want to give that a shout out. I love that scene so much. Because watching Raul Julia act, like, in a very Shakespearean... Like, that could have been, been a King Lear speech. Yeah. Anytime an actor of the caliber of a Raul Julia who has that level of just passion and that voice... That energy. Gets to, like, the energy and, and, and gets to do that in a movie like this, it's like, it just makes me so happy... Mm -hmm. um, and also, like, how do they do the lighting on her face in every scene? So good. It's amazing. I love it. Will we be traveling alone? Yes. I'll be a widow. <laughs> I'll be a widow. Happy, happy, happy turkey, turkey day. day. Let's all eat the Indian way. <sighs> it's problematic, but that's the point. Yes. I don't want to be in the pageant. Don't you want to help me realize my vision? Your work is pure out. <laughs> you lack any sense of structure. <laughs> I have a wonderful idea. They have just never quite latched on to the Chippewa spirit. Nor have some of their little comrades. Comrades. Don't we wish they would just die? Yes! <laughs> We are going to make an example. A square example. Odd yes. Or pale or chubby. I like that they included fat shaming in that as like one of the things that's bad. You know? Yep. The little mermaid. Stop it. He's only a child. <laughs> but it's Disney. <laughs> <laughs> The hills are alive with the sound of music. And they knew that it was much more than a hunt. That this group must somehow form a family. That's the way we all became the family. Tell the musical theater kids in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> well, good evening. Is there anything you'd like to say to everyone? I miss the straight cult stuff, like literally programming them. And I'm not perky. That's for damn sure. But I want to be. You do? I also love that the, that the, 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 the woman and the child have the same haircut. And be Pocahontas in Gary's vision. Oh, darling, do you really mean it? <laughs> Isn't she pretty? She's scaring me. Give her a damn Oscar for that. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh my god, I, I now understand why she's so damn iconic. <laughs> He's sick. <laughs> I like how oh all of the god. things around him have changed too, like the, the knifey. Oh yeah. Carousel's gone and it's all like white. The, the, the jammies. Such alterations. And become permanent. permanent. Those golden curls. Those rosy cheeks. That smile. He could become oh. president. <laughs> um, she was the the Carol wife Kane. of. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She is. She is an icon in her own right. <laughs> yes. Oh, she was the the witch. 
I'm not a witch, I'm your wife in The Princess Bride. This occasion to celebrate a seminal event in American history. Is it? Brotherhood. So, white meat and dark meat. Oh no. It's so hard to watch. Oh. Yeah, but it's supposed to be. But, I, but, but that's the point is they are the villains, which is wonderful. Yeah. Like. And also the fact that his vision is this lame. Like, this is his vision, and it's so lame, and so tame, and so safe. And this is his, like, grand vision. Eat us, cause we're good and dead. Chop off our legs, and put them in your mouth. Eat me! Eat me! He wants your head, but now we're food. The more I'm watching this, the more I wonder how much Louise from Bob's Burgers is based on Wednesday Adams. Eat us before we finish this song. Because, like, they're basically the same character in a lot of episodes. <laughs> it was a senseless tragedy. Joan Cusack makes so much of this film. There's a, a YouTuber who has a, a video essay about how she turned this into a gay, iconic film. It's fantastic. Interesting. What about, like, I guess I'll have to watch the video. I'll just put your present on the table. Don't peek. Oh, please, please. He really is like a child, though, and, and the Adams kind of have maybe infantilized him a bit, but also it could just be, like, that's how he is. And at the end of the day, he's happy, so... Why? Much I a don't person know. who encourages adult playfulness. And don't see that as being childish. But I can't see That's where true. you might, where that might get confusing. I do see where that is. Yeah. Because, I mean, you just see the way he's behaving with an adult woman. Like, he doesn't know how to. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, I like to jump around and be silly and fun. And don't see yes, that as also... childish. Absolutely. I mean, again, toys. Um, you know, I, I like to act and sing and, and play, but... I still feel like they've kept him down a little bit in ways like they, they encourage it a little too much and never help him grow. I don't know. I could be, I'm, I'm overthinking it because that's literally the point of our channel. <laughs> I am so glad we invited the Chippewas to join us for this holiday meal. Remember? Again, she does such a great job of acting like she's a bad actor. Savages. Yikes. Yeah. After all, they have not had our advantages, such as fine school. The thing is, there are people who would watch something like, like real people who would watch something like this and unironically agree with it. And that's the, like, sad part. 20 grand for summer camp. He's Mr. Woo Woo. Hey, 20 grand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a lot. Yep. In, In 1993, USD. Yeah. Why you are as civilized as we, except we wear shoes and have last night. Oh. But yeah, like, people like this would unironically enjoy this and wouldn't see the problem, like... Yeah. In fifth grade, I was in a, like, musical about Lewis and Clark where white people dressed as Native Americans in costumes very similar to this, and nobody batted an eye. Yeah. Becky, what's going on? Wednesday! You have taken the land which is rightfully ours. Years from now, my people will be forced to live in- I love David Cromwell's facial expressions in the background there. My people will have pain and degradation. Your people will have stick sh <laughs> Do not trust the pilgrims. Especially Sarah Miller. Oh! And for all these reasons, I've decided to scalp you. Oh my god! And burn your village to the ground. <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> You're destroying my text! It deserves to be so destroyed, to Gary. Film. What? <laughs> This must have been fun for the kids to film. 
Well, he's a special child, but he needs friends. He needs friends like this? I don't know what my God. <laughs> the wheelchair kid, that's amazing. Disability representation. I understand why now now why Christina Ricci is such a freaking icon. transition wow pause for a second <laughs> okay first of all that's tony shalou which it's weird sh it sure is uh but um th they haven't shown us the aftermath and i don't know if they're going to later but as of now um i'm pretty sure they just murdered a lot of children and adults and they're going to eat the camp counselors you know sometimes you gotta right <laughs> Okay. Don't mean that. I mean, it's it's a campy satirical. Yes. Uh, to to be very clear about for the YouTube like algorithm stuff, no one is actually hurt. These are actors. Just to be clear, and we do not advocate eating waspy people. No, or as, anyone. Do as much as we humans. joke about it. Yes. Have a more balanced diet. This channel diet. does not endorse the scalping or eating of any humans. Just want to be very clear. But yeah, what the heck was that scene? Like, I, 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 like, I vaguely remembered from seeing online that something like that happened. But like, not to that degree. Good lord! Don't you wish you could go back in history and be like, hey? <laughs> yes, but He's like, dead. I mean, they're the worst. Yeah, but like, Sarah Miller stinks. But I don't want to light a child on fire. Look, I don't know what's... Look, maybe they address it or, like... Here's what I want to, like, having not seen this, I don't know what's going to happen is... Is that it? Like, that's... We don't see any of those characters again and we just have to kind of guess whether or not Wednesday really lit a child on fire or they'll show us and, okay, they're okay. Because, like, I can't imagine this movie would have gotten a PG rating, which I assume it has, um, if they didn't resolve that and show the kids were still alive because... I, well, I can't tell you what happens. That would be spoilers. I but I think we'll we should out. also take this moment to recognize that we are on stolen land. The the history of how we've treated, and by we, I mean, let's be real, um, how we've treated Native Americans and the people who were indigenous to this land uh, is horrible and genocide and not even remotely acceptable. And while this is a comedy and it is taking a lot of liberties, it's Speaking to something real. It's nice to see a movie from the 90s acknowledging that on some level. Yeah. Where the heroes are, you know, our protagonists and our heroes, even if they are supposed to be, like, kind of weird and whatever, but, like, yeah, the, the, the villains of this movie are the ones supporting the, the whole, oh, pilgrims, yay, thing. Yeah. But still, don't light children on fire. That's just uh, general... <laughs> general advice um as annoying as some kids can be as annoying as their parents might be whatever like take all the fun out of everything on fire. <laughs> i know i know i'm sorry but i just feel like i have to say that for the sake of not getting our channel deleted do <laughs> not light children on fire okay very good rule <laughs> I support this rule. Do not light children on fire. <laughs> macho, mucho, Three. macho, man. I know. Mucho, mucho, macho, macho. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait oh, here. God. It's my anniversary. I'll be right back. <laughs> I can't believe it took her three weeks to come up with, let's blow him up in the house that I got. Like, 
Why put in so much effort at the house just to blow it up? That seems excessive. I think she just got fed up, maybe. She thought it yeah. would be easier. <laughs> she has one of the coolest laughs ever. I love Joan. Joan Cusack has such a cool voice. She, yes. Highly agree. I think she's an incredible actor. I want to see her in so many more things. Yeah. She is very beautiful by, like, any objective standards. Wow! We okay. Not Hollywood standards, I guess. What a waste of I hope she I hope it was insured. I assume it was insured. Help. Help. That little smile she does. She makes beige the color of evil so well. Did you get the champagne? Freeze! <laughs> I'm saying I want you dead, and I want your money. But, but, don't you love me? <laughs> Poor Fester. Look at yourself. You're a nightmare. Thing. Big, dumb, weird thing. No woman in her right mind could love you. She's very good with her fingers. <laughs> I have to go back for the others. You're very brave. And to watch the place burn. <laughs> I'll never forget you. You won't? You're too weird. <laughs> we'll always have today. And this. Amanda's retainer. That's not a retainer that's headgear, but that's okay. Got a Mia. Mon cher. Aww. <laughs> I love the fact that they're still kids. Like, that's a very, like... Like, yeah. kiss. I want to kiss because I don't understand, but also, like... Also, it's very funny to me that Pugsley's driving. Because Jeremy Workman, who played Pugsley, wound up a driver and, like, head of transport. Like, if you look at his IMDb page, he has yes. more, like, transport credits than he does acting credits. Good noticing. <laughs> Move out of the way! Not the meatloaf! No! We looked. <laughs> the whole room now with, um, with the wallpaper and... I know, it's so good. The cat in the hand. And she's <laughs> even reading him a somewhat healthy book. Just read him some rolled doll. That's messed up. I know it is wit. And the but she's trying to be a good mom and do what the I kid know. wants, not what she wants. I know. Funny. And that's oh, that is such wholesome AF. That is a very cute baby. Oh no, he lives. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gomez. No. <laughs> Gomez! Festa! Festa, where is Festa? I've tried to be someone I'm not. I live in shame. And the suburb. <laughs> you are Mr. Debbie! I am an Adams! Festa! Our whole family, together at last. In laws! Hey, baby's back! I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't enjoy hurting anybody. Really? All I ever wanted was a ballerina Barbie. I was 10. And do you know what they got me? Malibu Barbie. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I was a ballerina. Graceful, delicate. They had to go. Obviously. Jeez. I like that she took the pictures. Yeah. The baby. <laughs> He's got his knives back. That is such like... <laughs> 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 My 
my first husband. All day long, coronaries, transplants. What about you? I like that she's splashing things. That's an axe. That takes me back. <laughs> I like how she's documented her murders. Yeah. I'm sorry, but how on earth did she not get caught after using, like, axe murders are kind of easy to solve, relatively? Senator, he loved his state. He loved his country. What about Debbie? No Mercedes this year. We have to set an example. Set this! <laughs> this sequence is amazing. Iconic, campy, brilliant. You took me in. You accepted me. But did any of you love me? Hands! <laughs> That was pretty funny. Hands. Yes, <laughs> the effects are so bad and I love it so much. So I maimed? So I destroyed one innocent life after another? It's not like her body count comes close to the Adams. I know. She's so good. Don't I deserve love. She's so compelling. <laughs> Except if she actually wanted love, she had it. And if she wanted jewelry, like he she um Fester would have bought her everything she ever wanted. Like she had it, which means she's not she's not genuine? <gasps> That's right. What? Exactly. She's not being genuine with herself or with others. Adieu, mon cher. Adios, yep. cara mia. And that's what matters in the Adams family. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're alive? Oh, okay, so yeah. I guess they are alive. There you go. <laughs> but they are done. Wish me luck. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> they're so sweet. <laughs> Here's the moment where she turns into that doll from Rugrats. <laughs> yes! What was her name? I can't remember. The doll. Viewers, what was the name of the doll in Rugrats? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> the ash pile, which is the Visa credit card, and the that's funny. That's some great wrapping paper. Well, sometimes, late at night, I remember how she used to turn to me and say, Jesus, Festa, go back to your room. Yoo <laughs> Aww. Christopher Lloyd is ridiculous. Awesome. She's wearing pastels and everyone still accepts her. Yes. She's true to herself and true to who she loves. Danny. And that's all that really matters. Dementia. Hi, dementia. Oh my god. <laughs> it means insanity. My name is Vesta. It means to rot. To the glorious mysteries of life. To mirth. To merriment. To manslaughter. <laughs> Dear friends. <laughs> to dear Aww. friends. To new friends. And Cheers. to new friends. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, electric complex, anyone? I was looking at myself thinking, I kind of look like my dad like this, and that's been weirding me out a little. But it's fine, I'll move past it. Do you think, like, maybe someday you might want to get married and have kids? Oh, no. No. What if you met just the right man who worshipped and adored you, would be your devoted slave? I'd pity him. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Different people want so different cool. things. I like that the, she still buried him. They, she, they still buried her. Yeah. And that's kind of sweet. She was sloppy. <laughs> 
If I wanted to kill my husband, I'd do it. And I wouldn't get caught. Dude, run. I'd scare him to death. Red flags. This is not hot. <laughs> We're all very sorry, Debbie. We wish you only the best. So is she saying that she does? Oh, this is a Barry Sonnenfeld movie. Okay. Yep. That's the Adams Family Values. Also, how 90s is this that they're having a rap about the Adams Family over the credits? Yeah. That is so painfully 90s. It Oof. sure is. I see why you like this more than the original. Um, just because it takes everything, like, a step further. It just, you know, turn, turns up the, 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 you know, turns it all to 11. Also, Joan Cusack, iconic, obviously, in this oh, role. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Joan Cusack is so... Uh, also, one thing I didn't like about the first one was that Fester wasn't Fester for most of it because he didn't know he was Fester. And Fester right. is a fun character. So if he's not really Fester, then, like, it's not as fun. So having Fester as Fester the whole time was great. Yeah. The camp sequences were amazing. The whole camp climax was disturbing but amazing. This movie, obviously, it's not going to have the same effect as for on me as it does on you because you saw this as a kid, so it was a big part of that. Of course. Um, but I just very genuinely enjoyed it, for sure. It was just definitely a, a regular for me growing up, and uh, there were so many things that became staples in my life. Joan Cusack especially was just... The campy ideal <laughs> for me. Oh, she was. I mean, she was great. So, for those who don't know, my dad got the uh, one of the first VHS recorders on the market and spent a lot of the '80s recording all of the movies he could find on TV, which was most of the time like middle of the night, terrible B movies. <laughs> <laughs> and I grew up with this large collection of alphabetized, numbered VHS films, over a thousand of them. And so Holy I cow. became completely obsessed with films, but like really trashy films. <laughs> and I think that Adam's Family Values encompasses a lot of that. It's very campy, it's very over the top and silly, but also taking time to criticize things that it finds important. It, it takes the time to really say, hey, no, that's not okay. We're going to criticize the shit out of that. And we're going to celebrate what makes people unique. And I, I just, I love that. I love it. <laughs> what makes this special compared to a lot of other films is a lot of other films either it's too subtle you don't notice it they don't go far enough or it's so on the nose it's not fun anymore right um what this did so well with for example the camp climax scene where everything goes nuts there and just the camp in general it was a very obvious not subtle on the nose critique but it was so ridiculous it was still fun yeah a lot of movies when they're like trying to be like yeah we're gonna talk about racism and whatever it's like we get it, dude. Racism is bad. Like, you haven't actually said anything interesting. Like, there's a lot of movies out there that are trying to be, like, trying to say something, and, and they're really not. Like, yeah. homophobia is bad. Uh, uh, bigotry is bad. Yeah. Duh. But they're not saying anything else. This is saying specifically waspy culture, conformity, whitewashing. Like, this is specifically satirizing things that so many people take as normal. Yes. But they're doing it in a fun way. I think what this film and the, the Addams Family in general throughout its history, it, it's comics, it's original TV series to the 90s. I still haven't seen Wednesday, the TV show, so I can't speak to that. But I think what it was always doing so well was knowing who its audience was and doing a very good job of not preaching to it while knowing what biases it held and still speaking to that and not in a way that is pandering or in a way that turns people off or makes their walls go up and and in entertaining a way because you have to be entertaining while you do it otherwise it doesn't work yeah 
I think uh, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I I see why it has such an Im- why it's like such an important film for you. Why you like it a lot more than the first one. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed it. It was also it was fun watching it with you and like seeing you react as things were happening. Like like you guys, you know, our viewers are watching us and seeing our reaction, but like. I'm also seeing, like, we're seeing each other's reactions, too. Like, half the fun of watching this, of watching these movies, these series, doing this together, like, what first attracted me to doing, when when Enough invited me onto the show, was that, oh, this will be a fun thing to do with my friend. And one of the things I've been enjoying more and more was, like, watching Enough's reaction, whether it's seeing something that they love so much that I get to, like, that I'm seeing for the first time and being, like, oh, wow, like, your reaction is almost as entertaining as the film, or, like, in the case of something where, that I've seen that they haven't, seeing them react to something that I love, it's it's a lot of fun. Like, yeah. <laughs> before I came on this channel, I never really watched a reaction video. I watched a lot of reviews and, and criticisms and retrospectives, but I never really watched a reaction video. And sitting here watching enough reactions as we're watching things together, it's like, oh, I see the appeal now. This is really fun. <laughs> and it's just, it's it's so cool that I get to be a part of this, that I get to interact with you, with, you know, with the viewers, with, with my amazing friend. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just cool. Yeah. Before COVID, before I became so isolated before I got sick, all of that. I was running like a, a movie night once a week, um, a, a big like community thing, and it had all sorts of discussion. And I've really missed that. And doing this with you has been so much fun and has given me the opportunity to really connect with people again and discuss something, a, a whole genre of art form that I, I love so much. You and I met uh, about 12 years ago. Yeah. And so it's just been amazing to just like be doing this with you and like sort of re-establishing the friendship and in a way like getting this friendship deeper than it's ever been, even though we live really far away from each other. Yeah, you're awesome. That's just really neat. <laughs> and I, you know, and I, yeah, I really appreciate our friendship and I appreciate you. Yeah. Um, go tell your friends you appreciate them. Seriously. We wish you all, right, all uh, enough. Uh, uh, yeah, a lovely whatever this time of year is for you <laughs> well i'm in canada so our our thanksgiving slash indigenous people's day was in yeah. october um so happy happy day kalu kale and all that and thank you so much for joining us um uh please uh, if you have any questions comments uh suggestions put them in the comments and uh we can't wait to see you next time yeah Bye! Happy November! Bye! And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe! Thanks so much!